how often is too often to post on social media? What is the maximum frequency? One a day, two a day, five a day, 10 a day, <laughs> um, you know, five a week or whatever. Uh, before I share anything, I actually do welcome you to comment below because I'm not the only one who, you know, sees social media posts. You you also check out social media every now and then, or maybe very often. And you know, this is a this is an open question. I think um, now I could talk about the algorithm, but I think first of all, the algorithm always follows humans and their behavior, and not just the average human and their behavior, but it follows the behavior of each person who sees your social media content. I mean, most people don't understand this. There is no social media algorithm. There are 10 billion social media algorithms one, or more, actually. The Meaning there's an algorithm for you and every single page you follow. Did you know that? It's not one algorithm. Or it, I should say the algorithm is tuned to weigh your interactions with every single page that you follow and it will it will populate your feed accordingly um and so therefore my behavior on social media is going to be different than your behavior you follow the same page i'm going to see a different frequency than you you see be, maybe i'm a huge fan of this page or i just naturally like stop scrolling when i see their thing and i engage with it or i look at it or whatever whereas you just keep scrolling and so if this person posts two three four times a day and i log in two three four times a day i'm going to be more likely seeing their multiple posts a day because i really enjoy their stuff i stop scrolling or i like it or i comment or whatever or i share it whatever whereas you the algorithm noticed that you just scrolled on by the last two times their posts showed up. So the algorithm says, oh, whoa, okay, we're not going to bother you with that anymore. We're going to show you other pages posts. We're going to test other pages posts in front of you that you followed. You may never see that pages, even though you kept following them. You haven't unfollowed them. You may never see their posts again. I mean, unless you, not, you know, physically go to their page and, and see it. And then if you physically go to their page, the algorithm gets tuned again to say, oh, looks like you're kind of interested in this page. And we're going to test again. Next time you show up, we're going to test their post, the recent post again. So, so the technical answer is there is no maximum frequency, technically speaking because it depends on every single follower of yours and how much they engage and how much they log in. Now, having said that, I will say there is a <laughs> there is a maximum frequency in terms of your consistency. Like if you if you got so inspired one day and you were, you know, overlooking a beautiful vista and oh, I have all these wonderful thoughts and then you post 10 times that day and then you weren't at the Vista anymore the next 10 days. You were in your office or whatever. You weren't inspired. And you don't post for 10 days. It's terrible. For, for, for It doesn't matter what the algorithm is. terrible because your followers saw you post all in one day. Or sure, they might log in three days later and still see one of your 10 posts from that one day. Or even seven days later might see. But then they won't see you for a while. And... It um it acts it also confuses the algorithm a bit. Well, which of the posts it doesn't really confuse it, but the algorithm has to choose among the 10 posts you made that day to show it to the people who are logging in. And it'll it'll choose among the 10 posts that got the most engagement similar from the people similar to that person. It's very sophisticated. So I guess the practical behavioral frequency advice I have for you is if you're you know, if you're inspired one day and you want you want to you feel like you want to post 10 things, for example, you shouldn't post 10 things in one day. Because what if you're not inspired the next nine days? So what you should do is put that into your phone or wherever you can keep your content ideas. So inspired, I'm going to put these 10 ideas in. And well, you can if you use a social media scheduling tool, you can, of course, schedule it one a day for the next 10 days. That's fine. Or you can come back to social media every day 
look at your content ideas and go, that one inspires me. Out of these 10 ideas, that one inspires me. Most of the day, I'm going to massage it for a little bit for like 15 minutes, massage it, post it. The drawback to that is you might, it's very natural to come back the next day and go, I'm not inspired anymore by any of these ideas. <laughs> okay. Which is a common pitfall. It's like, no, it, you can't judge your own content. You can't judge your own ideas. Let the audience judge. You're not inspired by any of these 10. I don't care. You post it anyway today. You, you, you want to post every day? You post it today. I don't care if you're inspired or not. You were inspired at some point. So you let the audience tell you the final answer, not today's lack of inspiration. Say, I'm not inspired by that one. No, don't, don't judge yourself so quick. Anyway, so long story short, I would rather see you post consistently one a day than sometimes three a day, sometimes zero for three days, da, 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 da. So do that. And I would say, therefore, it's, I mean, Gosh, posting one a day for for one year or forever for the rest of your life is a tall order. It is almost impossible. Almost nobody has that many ideas. I wish you did. If you have that many ideas, then wonderful. You should be posting one a day every day for the rest of your life. But save your ideas in case you're not inspired one day. You still pick one and you still post it. I hope this is helpful. I want to add one more thing to this, which is uh, I'm not saying you should start by committing to one a day, okay? In fact, it's probably more realistic. Even if you're really gung-ho, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I'm going to be real consistent. I have so many ideas. Fine. Commit to three a week is already a lot. I'm, I'm not saying for the algorithm. There is no, again, in my opinion, there is no such thing as overposting. Not in my opinion. In my understanding of the algorithm, there's no such thing because if they're not interested, they'll just keep scrolling and they won't ever see your post for a long time until someone shares your post, a friend of theirs shares your post and they'll start seeing it again. And then the, the algorithm is testing their perception of your stuff again to see if they want to engage or not. So don't worry about it. It's not like the algorithm doesn't show everything in, in reverse chronological order, every single post. No, obviously not. It, you, you keep scrolling. You're like, how come I'm seeing something from three days ago from somebody else? While probably there are a, a hundred posts that were just posted in the last three hours that you're not seeing, right? So I would rather see you commit to three times a week. Fine, five times. I don't know how many ideas you have, but three times a week, consistent. And you've, you, just keep, you just keep accumulating up dozens, maybe hundreds of ideas right in your in your content folder wherever you keep your ideas and so i'm gonna i'm gonna commit to three times a week i think having ideas for the rest of my life three times a week the rest of my life before i get you know alzheimer's and can't <laughs> can't don't know what social media is anymore to you know i always say, say i'm gonna keep i'm gonna be post creating content until i have dementia that's my that's my commitment to you okay um hopefully that's for a long time hopefully that's like, like next year or whatever but no um so commit to three times a, a, a week for the rest of your life now if you keep going and you know three months later six months later you're like oh three times a week is so easy for me i think i'm gonna get i'm gonna go to four times a week now then do it because it's you've proven yourself to have a habit of three times a week it's become very natural for you to do it Three months is enough of a habit creation every single week. Um, of course, as you go down the road, you're going to start hopefully repurposing your the best of your older stuff, as I do now. I post, I don't know, several, I mean, let's say on Facebook, I post. Uh, I post on Facebook three times a week, actually. I, I do. And two of those three times a week are repurposing the best of something earlier. Only once is something new. So anyway, that's... A, this is, video is getting too long, but essentially, I hope this is helpful to relieve your anxiety that you might be overposting because I don't think there is such a thing. Not anymore. The algorithm is too smart. <laughs>